today we're gonna have the best inner salt in the Philippines. Chicken ass is life. This is the chicken oil. Just drizzle it like this. It needs more oil. There you go. <laughs> A true blue Bacolod nun would always order chicken ass. Never be shy to get your hands dirty. This is heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. Oh. Oh. So I think this chicken was doing plenty squats. <laughs> Eat that Manila. Hey, what is up guys? Bacolod is known for amazing inner sal and today we are actually at the best spot to eat inner sal in Bacolod. Meaning, today we're gonna have the best inner sal in the Philippines. Yesterday we met the owners of the Culture Coffee Roastery here in Bacolod and they kindly invited to take us out to the best inner sal place in Bacolod today. We're actually here at Aida's and they're gonna show us exactly how to eat the inner sal and what makes this the best inner sal in the Philippines. So, Let's go. Hello. Maybe can you guys quickly introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Bambi. I'm Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> we're from Coffee Culture and we're taking these lovely people around. And this to us is the best in a sal in the country. Yeah? Really in the hungry. country. For sure. <laughs> We're hungry too. Yeah. So just for your information guys, it's after 2 o'clock in the afternoon and none of us have eaten the whole day. Yes. Because <laughs> yes. these guys are doing intermittent fasting and we are just not adults. We're just not adults. Uh, there's no other way to say it. <laughs> the menu of life. The menu of life. Chicken ass is life. <laughs> Aida's was actually recommended by quite a few people to us, so my expectations are super duper high. Yeah, I don't think I'll be disappointed. No, you won't be. That oh, very yeah. soon. This is ending up in our tummies. <laughs> the best part is the chicken ass. Alright. Because uh, true blue bakolod non would always go for, it, for the chicken ass. We call it isol. Yes, we've had it at a few street food markets, I think, already before. Mm -hmm. In Manila, yeah. Is it the big one? No. The big chicken ass. No, they have no. the small one? The small one, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, really one of our favorite places. And super easy on the wallet. All right. Oh yeah, that's something I just noticed. The prices are really yeah. good. Wow. It's good, good value for money. The most expensive here is the cold. One and a half liter of <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like this. Unlike Manila, you have 500 pesos in your wallet. You go out. You get full with a really good meal, you get halfway drunk, and you still come home with some change in your wallet. <laughs> Eat that Manila. <laughs> so what's really cool is we have like a little dispenser here, and when I was looking at it before, I thought, oh, what kind of uh, vinegar is this? I was just told this is chicken oil, so it's kind of like the drippings of yes. when they roast the chicken. Yes. What you do is you pour this over your rice with garlic and salt. Yes. And then you just mix it all up and you make kind of a like a, a homogenous mass almost with the rice. You just eat it with your hands. So yes, really cool. The and then we also have the traditional uh, go-to mix here. We've got calamansi, chilies and a native vinegar which is supposed to be really, really nice. Filled up to the brim with garlic and chili. And um, then we're going to add some soy sauce to that as well. This is the chicken oil. Gonna put it. Just drizzle it like this. Drench it, not drizzle. I can put more later. <laughs> and then just put the salt. And then just mix it. <laughs> Needs more oil. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Then just mix it like this. It's wow. The best rice ever. Nice. Mm. That's basically how it tastes when you make chicken in the oven and then you use the sauce for like yeah. the rice and for the veggies. This is the best part. This is chicken ass. A true blue 
Bacolod nun would always order chicken ass because chicken ass is light. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay. Just the breast. Look at those guys. Beautiful, beautiful piece of chicken here. Alright, let's get a nice piece here. Look at that. Beautiful. Do you just eat it together with the rice? Yeah, nice. Yeah. So put it in the good. dipping sauce a little bit. Get a nice bit of rice here. Never be shy to get your hands dirty. <laughs> Good, no? mm. That's very good. Mm. That's really that is good. so good. The rice, oh. right? That is solid, right? Oh. <laughs> the rice is so flavorful. Chicken is juicy. You got that beautiful chicken fat in there. Then the the hint of heat from the dipping sauce. Oh, this is this is heaven. It is heaven. The <laughs> idea wow. of heaven. I'm just glad that I'm not the one filming right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Thank you for bringing us here. You're welcome. Cheers. Thanks yeah. for visiting us, guys. Thanks for mm. like showing us around mm. and uh, cheers to new friends. Yeah. I'm not drinking. I'm going to be driving <laughs> later on. So I'll just... <laughs> I'm so sad for you. <laughs>
but it's still like moist and pasty. It's like move yeah. away foie gras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Maybe I should call the video the foie gras of the Philippines. Uh -huh. And then we have the chicken skin. Now usually we've always had the chicken skin kind of deep fried. Uh, this one is grilled. So I'm getting a bit of the dipping sauce on it. And again, of course, the rice. Oh, that's really good too. It's good too. It's like a little bit sweet, crunchy, chai, a little bit gelatinous. You, know, you get so many combos of textures and flavors. And, right, so next up we have the uh, chicken ass, which is very popular. And Nelly just said it. One of the things we really love about the Philippines is that nothing goes to waste. So in Austria, for example, nobody would ever eat the chicken ass. It just gets kind of... It's so yeah, sad. It's so, so Thomas, Thomas is from Germany. Yes. And uh, I think you can agree that in Germany, it's also kind of... Uh, yeah, we only get the boring ones without bones, yeah. without yeah. fat. Yeah. Uh, it's too healthy, really, people. Enjoy food. <laughs> so the meat is um, very bouncy. It's got a nice, nice firm texture. So I think this chicken was doing plenty squats. <laughs> <laughs> Getting a good... <laughs> that's, that's the uh, beginning <laughs> scene. <laughs> yeah, it got a great workout. <laughs> Zumba or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright. Super flavorful, like the inner salt. It's, um, it's got a little bit of a bite to it, which is good. This part is good. Mm. It's good, though. Mm. Yeah, it's like a really fatty piece of meat that's yes. packed with flavor. <laughs> yes. It's packed with flavor. <laughs> so delicious. Yeah. There's just a lot of meat on here. Yeah. You know, aside from really good food, one thing that makes us happy is when people love the food yeah. that we love. So, thanks guys. I mean, it's really a treat. And it's we a will tease. be back for sure. <laughs> okay, you, you must. You Friday, must. I mean, have to. Yeah. <laughs> so you can show us more food. Yeah, yeah on Friday uh, we drink. More. We're going to try a lot of uh, new. Um, Foods, dishes that are unique to Bacolod. Yes. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. But what I love about this restaurant is they have a hand washing station right here because it is a custom to eat with your hands. You can see how nice and greased up I am. Happy I didn't wear the white t-shirt today. Um, and you have like, this is just before, before you eat, after you eat, you come here, you've got the nice cleaning station. I love it. Because I love eating with my hands, but also I'm a germaphobe, so I'll wash my hands 20 <laughs> times before I eat. We are ready for the operation, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, bye bye. All right, guys, that was a phenomenal food experience and definitely the best inner sal that I've ever had. Agreed. Uh, Huge thank you for, to those guys for uh, showing us this place. And you, uh, what, one thing I have to say, we've been in Bacolod for two days and we have not paid for a single thing by ourselves. We've been invited all the time. Yeah, it's so crazy. And the people here are so nice yeah. and so friendly. There is no wonder they are calling it, uh, they say it's Bacolod is the city of the smiles. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know where you think the best inner sal in yes, the world we're is. Yes, to know. <laughs> And we will see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Be positive. And make, make it, it happen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.